it's very rare that I get genuinely angry at football manager. I get frustrated sometimes. And you, I'm sure we've all gone through that period when a team is struggling and you just feel like beaten down and stuff. But genuinely, not angry. Immediately after recording that last fucking episode, <laughs> right? Um, which was frustrating. And the games running up to that, which were just random. Um, we played this game. I'm just going to show you the first goal. Okay. And then I'll tell you what happened after that. Okay, it was Tales Costa in the 18th minute. Pay pay close attention. See if you can spot the mistake. Zzz. Okay. Free kick. Yeah, do you want to see that? Do you want to see that again? You know, solid free kick from deep. No worries. Good to see none of my players are looking at the football. That's one of the first things I think is important to remember when when Playing football is to never look at the ball. Because if you're looking at the ball, the other people will see you looking at the ball and think you might want the ball. So everybody needs to pretend that they have no interest in the ball. Essentially, it looks like a running race. Um, <laughs> which is actually really bad in football manager terms. Like, can we have the attacking players, defending players? One guy's side on and the other 10, 12 players are <laughs> just not even looking. But you see... I guess the goalkeeper thinks it doesn't even get close to that guy, and the goalkeeper just lets it go in. And when then when you know about a little bit, when that went in, I just got up off my chair and I vacuumed the downstairs. <laughs> I rage quit, not in a quit the game sense. I just walked away, and I was extremely pissed off and then I felt immediately guilty because um, Freya, one of my dogs um, she's very empathic and as soon as I'm upset she gets all weird and cuddly and stuff and then I feel bad and everything yeah so that was nice um, but good news, we've recovered um, I've made some tweaks I, you know, sometimes it's best to take a step away, I made some tweaks to the tactic um, and it's better and we've actually got some one nils which is I never thought I'd be so excited to get a 1-0 like win or loss or even a nil-nil. Just lack of goals. But it's it's been lovely. So let's I'll show you them after. Roll the intro. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. So after the 3-1. Um, which we did make the tweaks for, like we put on the wide centre-backs on defend for that game and um, it didn't sort of make too much difference, although it's going to add a little layer of security. But then we drew against the Salantina, Salantina and they were like, I think, third in the league. So I was like, oh, nil-nil, fucking yes, please. Oh, lovely. <laughs> um, and then extra tweaks... You know, took a break. <laughs> Excuse me. Because um, the problem, sometimes it's almost worse that we were creating so many chances and not scoring. Because if you're just playing shit, you're like, okay, we need a new tactic or we need something. But yeah, so, uh, but we beat Turis in what was a pretty sort of close game, to be fair. But sometimes you just need a win, right? We just needed to stop this rut. And uh, that allowed us to go on a bit of an unbeaten spell. So we've played uh, four games since then. Look at the lack of goals. It's fucking marvellous. <laughs> we beat Pisa 1-0 away from home. Drew with Spal. Bertini getting the only goal. Torino 1-0. Lungi. And then uh, Tanana. Vito gets a goal in between injuries. He's still very, very, very... I don't know why fracturing his skull made his legs fall off. Um, but I'm no doctor. I'm not. If there's any doctors in the comments, if you could please explain that as to why the rest of his body's falling apart because he cracked his skull. Is it all linked? Well, yeah, it is all linked, obviously. Otherwise, his head would roll. Right, let's just move on. Um, in <laughs> in weirdly other news, you know the um, top fifty players thing. Well, you might recognise somebody. No, it's not Dom. Let's. <laughs> Let's be careful. <clears throat> one to ten. Look who it is. Admittedly, we have three Wonder Kids in the top 50. None of which we own. But this one we're probably never going to keep anyway. Priori's 
never going to keep. This guy, I forgot he was 17. He's the Albanian left winger, right? And you can understand why he's thing. But I'm like, I don't even remember at the time because you can't negotiate on loan contracts. What's his loan contract look like? I can buy him for 1.9 million. The fourth best wonder kid, is it in the world, in Europe? I could buy him for 1.9 million. Now, I know, admittedly, that seems a long way off. Um, and the buyback is <laughs> barely any more. But also, his contract's running out. Now, at the moment, he's doing that classic thing, which kind of makes sense in, in his world, is that he's at Lazio. He wants to continue his development in Lazio. So there's a good chance he'll just sign a new contract. But that's not stopped me from putting on the charm offensive. I'm like, oh, well played, mate. Oh, 7.1. Well played, mate. Well played. Because that would be a coup. And then potentially some valuable player that we can <laughs> palm off to somebody for £10 million in a few years. Um, this guy's also good and he's local, but the, the, yeah, it's got, he's got a longer contract. So there's much less chance we only just got him. And finally... We had youth intake day. It was shit. I accidentally clicked on it before. I was like, oh, uh, and and we had four players that were three and a half star four. Uh, four players that were three and a half to four star potential. Um, two of them were called Fabio, so you know swings around abouts. Um, but they, I signed the four players because they were cheap, and I thought we'd. I would like to see. We might be able to get a few. You know, hundred grand for one of these kids if they develop well. I think it's worth the punt. So, like I said, nobody was particularly um, exciting in that front. But here's the league table. We're sitting seventh. The the gap we need to look at is is ninth. So we're five points off ninth. Um, I'm not even looking up recently. You know, we could go up. I, Obviously, if we get there, it's going to be a massive outside chance anyway. But if we can have a couple of good results today, we're playing two very big games against two teams around us, including ninth. This one is like, if we can please win this one, it will help that gap. Um, Navio is suspended, which is a shame because he's been almost... Yeah, he's played more games than anybody else. The goalkeeper's played every single game this season with a goalkeeper which is a worry uh <laughs> he's actually improved slightly i just i kept saying criticizing him saying you've got to play better like for three games in a row <laughs> or you're going to be replaced i can't replace him because the other ones are even like this guy's just terrible but he, you know i'm hoping he doesn't work that out all right okay so we need a center back uh, god's will by God's will, it will be. Fabi's been brilliant this season. I told you, I told the fans he would be good. He was amazing. He's going to develop. This guy is immense. Can we... Is it an Italian thing where they just let the contracts run out a bit close? Because <laughs> why would you let this, these people's contract run so close? Right, okay. Uh... Yeah, you'll have to play my left. Suck it up. Okay. Things are going pretty well. Lungi's had a been a brilliant season as that deep line forward. Sometimes poacher, sometimes deep line forward. Vidu's just getting his fitness up, so like hopefully we can go on a bit of a run. Um, I need to check something. Okay, he just seems to shoot. As hard, he just seems to kick the ball whenever he's in a shooting position as hard as possible. Rather than any sort of skill, he just blazes it over constantly. Right, I thought he was going to have like shoots with power thing. Right, okay. It might be a very boring game. And I'm very much okay with that. Come on, boys. A draw would be okay. I, I don't like... Getting up the leagues really is not going to help us. I know we get further around. The playoffs is going to be lucky dip anyway, right? I don't really care where we finish in the league. I have also been offered a job interview, which I find unusually rare in a football manager. I don't get many job offers. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But the job was Blackburn Rovers in the championship. I think they were second bottom of the championship, but still. I said no, because you know, obviously Blackburn. <coughs> I'm not crazy. Okay, well, one nil down. Four minutes in. Good, 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 good. Gotta be keeping those clean sheets. 
One of the things I got rid of, obviously making the wide centre backs on defend just to make it a bit more secure, especially on the counter attack. Also, one of my favourite, just personal favourite. Go on, go on, Vidu. One of my personal favourite um, instructions, just generally speaking, is I like passing to space. Because I usually get people with pace, good passes that we're ball pass. So if you've got guys that can pass the ball really well and guys with pace, good. We do have some players that can run fast, not as much as I'd like. The two wing, or one of the wingers is rapid. Uh, but also, we don't really have the passers of the ball, so I feel like it's just giving it too much and we're just letting them counter-attack us like essentially which is what we struggle with so just minor tweaks okay and Kirizu's a bit knackered let's go attack him I'm gonna fire him up Come on, boys. He decided not to tackle him and run away from him so he could then block the shot, shot and look cool. <clears throat> Come on, boys. I, in a weird way, I'm almost happy to see that they're winning and have a higher XG than me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. You deserve it. Well done, you. <laughs> no, this does keep make it very close, though. I don't like it. Right. Turn on the afterburners, boys. Well, not you. Not, not you. Uh, Priori is much better attacking version. And then we can shove these guys up when we want to go crazy. Um. <sighs> Sorry, me, Luke. Probably best his legs might fall off. Uh, actually, I'm going for double advance forward because it's the best role. Okay, go. Now we unleash 10 minutes of attacking prowess from us. Or, alternatively, we could just concede another one. That also works. For a second of horror, I thought it was the left back that we lost that scored, but we're okay. Come on, boys. Here we go. Bruno. Go on. Yeah, Lungi. There it is. Gets the ball, good boy. Like, it almost feels a bit more normal football to me. <laughs> Even if I'm losing, I'm happy. This is so weird. This club has sent me mental. Like, I'm okay, like, oh, they're playing slightly better than us. And they're 2 1 up. Go on, boys. Go on. Oh, this is blast over. Okay. You're just doing that to spite me, Bruno. You're just doing that to spite me to make me look a fool. But I'll accept it. Well, we're back to fucking nutty football. I had a nice little break of normalness. <laughs> and then... <laughs> just carry on, boys. Referee! Perfect. Okay, can we find a winner? Come on, you didn't need to shoot there. God's will. Remember, he's, he's not really got a left foot. So there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's onside. I'm not going to celebrate that. That looked a bit whiffy. We... Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Get in there, boys! Oh, God's will. Pings it in Bertini. Lovely ball. Just cushions it down and Lungi scores again. Stay attacking, lads. Stay attacking. Let's go for four. We might need the goal difference. I've got too cocky already. Oh, I, I regret. Oh, look at that. Right. I'm just, just, just... Because I'll hate myself forever <laughs> if I don't at least do something about it. Right, you boys chill out. I think we've got, we've got sub left, haven't we? Uh, okay. Go on, Fabs. Oh, God, there's the centre-back. Not bad. 
Now run, you fucking fuck, run! Oh. Make the changes! <laughs> okay, nice. Play it! Oh, not the best ball, but that's a lovely plot! <laughs> it's onside, fuck off, ref. Fractionally offside, my ass. Okay, 4 2. Well, I enjoyed the calmness while it existed. Lovely pass. And he, <laughs> he did blast it into the net at the time, to be fair. Okay. Oh, yeah, make the changes now. That's perfect. What a result that is, boys! Look at that! <laughs> I don't know this. I don't understand this team. I just don't get it. I, I love it. I hate it. I don't get it. But it's brilliant. <sighs> right, that puts us up to six and hurts this group here that are chasing. This is brilliant. Okay, on to the next one. They're seventh. Six versus seventh. Let's go. Right then. Okay. Is uh, Navio back? He is... Is he running out of contract money? Okay. Well, I'll ask him. Okay, yeah, nine million. A little bit out of our price range. Okay. <laughs> Who's he wanted by? Oh, one of the rivals. <sighs> I think it's time for Vito to go at the end of the season. He's one of our highest paid players. On the same team. I think. I was hoping he stayed with us another couple of years. He's 32 and stuff, but it's just, just, just he's never been the same. Okay, we're playing really well. Ironically, Gio Vanelli's just dropped off, but you know, he's, he's had a solid start. So we're playing. Uh Am I your favourite person yet? Oh fuck off. I don't even feel special. Ridiculous. <laughs> I am one of his favourites, but Oh my god, his agent's called Elvis. Okay, no, just wanted to ask, mate. Just wanted to ask. How much? God, he's on a youth contract as well. Come on. I could pay you like a grand a week, mate. You'll be rich beyond your wildest dreams. I'm assuming what's going to happen is it's going to get to the whatever it is the month before his contract runs out. I'll be able to put in an offer. And as soon as I do, he'll sign a new contract at Lazio. Like, they're just teasing me. Okay. What are we going to get today, people? Nice. Go on, have a pop. Ooh. Go on. Ooh, good save. Good start, lads. Good start. We're only five points off second. <laughs> Why do I do it? I only just noticed. Why do I do it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. Stunning finish. Giovanelli. Get in there. It's not offside. Don't even try it. 1 0, boys. Fucking hell. Imagine if we finish second this season. It'd be fucking bonkers. Lovely 1 2. Really good movement. It's taken pretty much all season for Bruno Alves to, to sort of just settle into the club. Look for an early second goal. We're gonna he's gonna get a second bite of the cherry. Okay, be careful with losing it out. Fabi's there. Still there. Oh, oh no, we're going the wrong way now. Fabi's still hanging on. <laughs> we lost. You knew we were gonna lose the ball there. Oh, what ball that is, Giovanelli! Gatchen! Cosimo! Yeah, I told you, he's off form. Off form. Brilliant stuff. The young Albanian wonder kid is involved. Oh, he's a ridiculous footballer. He's a ridiculous footballer. I've got to stop falling in love with him because he's just going to break my heart. I know he's going to break my heart. But, link it all together. We're only five points off relegation. No, that's not what I meant. We're only five points off automatic promotion. And promotion would give us money. And we have 
optional. <laughs> Admittedly, they can immediately buy him back for like 300 grand more than we paid for him, but that's instant profit. Wow, track him back there. It's not a sending off. Okay, thank you. A professional foul. Yeah, Ranelli. He does like to drop deep to get the ball, but I don't particularly like it when he's basically <laughs> another centre back. Bruno Alves. Lungi, Mr. Reliable. That's what Bruno Alves was normally doing. We're three points off. <laughs> Three points off. They've not had a shot. We've dominated them. They've had a shot. <laughs> that's that's a depressing XG. Okay. I know I obviously talk about XG a lot, right? I'm not, but I'm not also not suggesting in any way, shape, or form. I know it's a fl to me anyway. It's a very flawed stat, right? But it gives you a rough idea, like doesn't it? It gives you that's how, that's how I use XG. It's like gives you a rough idea. Giovanelli does really drop. I know he drops deep, but he is too much, mate. Too much. If you're dropping past my defensive deep line playmaker, it's maybe oh maybe a bit too deep, buddy. <laughs> He's like one of those really good players that is annoyed by his own team at their lack of being able to get the ball back. So he's like, I'm just going to drop deeper and deeper until I can get the ball. Yeah, this could be actually... A, oh, no, they, oh, they're flooding forward. They're flooding forward. Lovely one, two acres of space. So oh, on the goalkeeper even made a save. Let's go. Let's go, Diego. Hey. Giovanelli picks it up. I might sub him. I feel like he's going to get himself sent off. I just got a bad feeling. And we've got Landim, who's very good. Uh... Oh. Just a smidge of time wasting. Just a smidge of time wasting. Just slow it down. We don't need to do anything crazy. Nice. That's what we want. Oh, nice. Go on. Go on. Settle it. Settle it. Still good. Still good. Fresh legs. Bring on the young 18-year-old. 10 minutes. Just see it out, lads. See it out. See it out. Oh, we're five points off. Automatic again. Damn it. Probably a good thing. Wasn't a pen anyway. Tossy comes flying out of his goal there. Win that Dom. Nice Dom. You've done something useful. Oh, I look cheeky. Go on, land him. Oh, what a finish. <laughs> Just I <laughs> This team is bonkers. We've got a kick off highlight. As soon as I see a name with the yellow card, it's like, oh, this is the sending off. This is it. We have had quite a few this season. Oh, there we go. We're going to miss a lot of these players, though, because they're a lot of these youngsters are. You know that next ah oh, lucky boys. Uh, you know that next season they're probably gonna their team's gonna go. Actually, no, we might gonna we're gonna give him a go in the first team because they're that sort of level. I do like it when you get saves where you loan the same guy for like six years straight. <laughs> there we go. A little consolation for him. They can have that, and we go marching on. We've we've had very t uh, this is look if you look at the schedule here right we've had a really really weird season in in the because normally like when you have those random seasons it's just rough but we have like a really good start undefeated and then it's like draw loss loss draw draw like pull it back up to the wins and then it's literally the same 
Draw. Loss, loss. Draw. Back up to the wins. Draw. Loss, loss, loss. It's fucking mental. So we, we cannot go from a, a loss to a win. We have to go from a draw that just falls down or gradually climbs up. <laughs> that is so weird. And so we just had, you can see the three spells of our season where it's fallen apart a bit. But this is almost, yeah, it's probably our best run at the start of the season is similar. But seven games, we're playing second in the league. Then we're playing 20th at home. Then we're playing 19th and 12th at home. Okay, we've got to come back for the next game because this will decide if we have any outside shot of Automan. The problem is when you've got a few teams above you is that you need so many results to go your way. So even if we beat Lecco, somebody will just take, overtake them. But there's a chance, my friends. Right, we are done for the day. Thank you very much. Oh, God, look at the money. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Some good games. We're playing well. We're scoring some lovely goals. We can still concede him, but it's not quite as bad. And, you know, we might just get automatic. Imagine if this whole season ended and after all the shit, automatic promotion. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Right. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, please. Helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.